Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Bakersfield, California, where a fraudster tries that tired old argument, interference is a physical act. When, well, it doesn't really go so well for him. He ends up with a shiny new pair of bracelets fairly quickly for his troubles. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Car 5032. Always like to keep my audience riveted. Yeah, such riveting content just standing right here. Uh, getting nothing on your camera. Yeah, why don't you just walk up on them and see what they're planning? Because it might be something interesting that you can interfere with. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Walk up to them and uh, eavesdrop on what they're planning to do in their upcoming investigation. Because, well, I'm sure they would love a spy in their midst. Because I'm sure that since you were live on this that the uh, suspect might be watching you and uh, would love to see what they're planning uh, in that their next phase in their investigation. Should he be watching or should they be watching? But let's go ahead and carry on, shall we? Can you do me a favor? You're, you're free to record, just stand over there. Why? So we're conducting I'm, an investigation I'm, right here. You're fine. I'm 20 oh, foot no, away, man. We're, we're briefing an operation plan. That's fine. It's for officer safety. Officer record, safety or there, public yes. safety? Hey, Frauditor, have you ever heard the old maxim, loose lips sink ships? It comes from World War II or that general era. And what that basically means is that Certain things you say or do can wind up in the hands of, well, the enemy and end up with more casualties than you want. So, in this particular case, they're planning their next move in this investigation. And if there is somebody watching you that because you are alive, then that basically means that they know what they're planning. And that means people would get hurt if the plan fell apart because of a simple-minded buffoon such as yourself hanging around the officers, spying on them. But of course, as a frauditor, you have to be self-centered and make it all about you and your rights and everything like that, failing to realize that you are just one person in an entire nation of people. You know the kind of person I'm talking about. A narcissistic moron who thinks he's better than everybody else around him and really doesn't care about the other people around him. Officer safety. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm right here. I'm not in Can interfering at all. I'm, I'm not interfering at all. I am telling you to stand over there. You are interfering. And now you are interfering. Interference is a physical act. Well, you physically walked over here, and now you physically will not move. So, therefore, you are a physical barrier to their investigation. And because all they did was ask you to move over there 
just a few more feet over there. So that way they won't be concerned about their plans leaking to the uh, people that they don't want them to be leaked to. So I, I'm sure you could understand if you weren't such a half-witted moron to begin with. I mean, I, if you could understand it, I'm sure you'd just walk a few feet to the other direction and you wouldn't have gotten arrested in this particular case. But nope, that's not the way you roll. You've got to be hard-headed. Now you are interfering. A lawful order? Yeah. What's the law that backs that up? Right now you're interfering. What's the distance on recording in public? 148. I'll hang on to this. Thanks, sir. You got handcuffs? Yep. Can you get my stuff to him over there, please? No, you're under arrest. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering who this is, I forgot to say who they were. This is Midwest Accountability. I've seen a number of arrests on his channel already. And I mean, he just doesn't seem to understand how things actually work. Because you know what? Frauditors never really do. They think uh, they know how everything works, but you know what? When they end up in court, they find out otherwise that they are a complete morons. And that is no different for this particular frauditor right here. I'm sure he's going to end up in court and find out uh, once again that he is a total ignoramus. But you know what? It's not really going to bother him one bit because he's still going to believe that he's the smartest person in the room no matter what. I mean, even if you uh, arrest him a thousand times, he's still going to believe that he's in the right 100% of the time. Even though, well, his uh, records would say otherwise, and that's the beauty of, beauty of these uh, frauditors. They just are too stupid for their own good at times. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?